Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jay Sean back at East Island with another unboxing video today from Walter with not one, not two, but three boxes today. So let's get right into it. So looks like we got a mix of everything here. Xbox, 360, Xbox, and PS2. Uh, Evil Dead, awesome. Gotta, gotta love Ash fighting those demons, right? Yeah, Splinter Cell, my beer before Christmas. It's almost October, so can't wait for Halloween, right? Call of Cthulhu, Godfather, gotta love it, gotta love it. Oh, Brute Force, I never actually played this game, but it really looks interesting with those lizards and stuff on the front. A cool slip cover, Prototype 2. Carmen San Diego. I don't know if anyone watched that show as a kid. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Got some war games there. Ration and Clank up your arsenal. I thought that was a pretty funny pun when I was a kid. I was just like, I know what you want to say. You can't actually say it. <laughs> Silent Hill 2, Chicago Enforcer. And we got some guidebooks here. It's like Brutal Legend, Sealed. Uh, Condemned 2, looking nice. RTX Red Rock. Ooh, and Halo 2. I love how that feels. Oh, it's pretty thick too. Gotta love it. All right. Move on to the next one here. All right, box number two. What do we got? Gotta talk about it again. Max Payne, one of the best games ever. <laughs> I love it, man. John Woo. <laughs> All right, Beautiful Joe 2. Oh, Jack and Daxter. I love Jack and Daxter, man. Oh, and the thing. Haven't actually played through this, but based off John, one of John Carpenter's best movies, if not his best movie. All right, we got some Xbox, PS3, Ninja Gaiden 2. I don't know. Got some Air Assault, Risen, Prey, Knight's Contact. Awesome. Prison Break. I never really watched Prison Break. I was more of a house person. Um, Resident Evil Dead Aim. I've never, what? I've never seen that. <laughs> Oh, The Godfather. That's the second Godfather game I've seen. It looks like they're a fan of The Godfather as well. Mission Impossible. Uh, I don't think that's based on the movies. I think that's just more of a franchise thing. Uh, Resident Evil. GameCube. Cold Fear. Oh, Steelbook. What's this for? Uh, Horizon? Forbidden West? PS5? Missing a disc though, but it looks like it's pretty good condition. Oh, let's get these Switch, Switch, Switch games. Sonic Forces, John Wick Hex. Chapter four, by the way. Oh man, that movie's unbelievably amazing. Uh, Dragon Ball, Demon Throttle. Oh, Diablo, nice. Risen, Katamari. Where you at, where are you at, Colin? I know you love Katamari. I <laughs> uh, got Dragon's Dogma, Shadowverse. Nice, got a Japanese game. River City Girls, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like a very specific uh, interest there. Got Monster Hunter as well. Not a good movie that they made. Lost Planet, Resident Evil, Operation Raccoon City. Love to kill some zombies, of course. All right, number three, number three. Hopefully can end with a good one. Well, immediately we see some guidebooks here. Dino Crisis 3. I know the whole franchise of this is worth a lot, so I bet the guidebooks look worth a lot too. Uh, Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway. This was actually my first experience to that franchise. Pretty good. Ghost Recon 2 and I Ninja. Oh, does anyone remember this game? Running on walls and the big hamster ball, fighting big mech robots and stuff. Uh, Devil May Cry 4, God's Hand, the Saboteur. I think this was the last Pandemic game that was made, but uh, I'm not too sure about that. Alice's Madness Returns. What's going on here? What's what was that? What did I heard just drop? God's hand. God's hand. Is it a very expensive game? That's a very well. It looks pretty cool. Rated M. Capcom. Big fighting game. All manual and everything. It's pretty good. I need to play that later. I've never even heard of that. <laughs> Find something new every day. Uh, Tai Chu. There we go. Anisha, Turning Point, Jack and Daxter again. Bateman. All right. And then, ooh, ooh, cool on. I know that game is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Never actually played it, but uh, I've heard so much about this back when uh, G4 was still a thing. Uh, Way of the Samurai. Munch's Odyssey, a little bit more common. You just want to drink some alien soda, doesn't it? All right. Ooh. There we go. Super Mario Sunshine, one of the better uh, Mario games from that era. 
Oh, it's in a PS2 case, though. Who does that, man? It's in a... P what? Come on, dude. That does, that's not right. That's just that's just a cardinal sin right there. Uh, we got Siren, um, which I'm a big horror guy, and this just looks creepy. You got a face, creepy imagery there, blood and gore. Oh, and it's a single player campaign too. It's like it's everything there. I might have to take that home for myself. I love my horror games, man. <laughs> uh, Rogue Ops, Time to Die, Lego Batman, Star Fox Assault, God of the God of War. Oh, and there's the iNinja from before. Awesome, for Xbox. I had it on PlayStation myself, but it's okay. And last thing here, Mech Assault, Lone Wolf, and em Enemy Territory, Quake Wars. Oh, gotta love Quake. And a piece of a case. That's not, <laughs> it's probably that, that PlayStation case, because that shouldn't go together. But that looks really great. Thank you so much for that trade-in. And uh, I'm gonna get to sorting this, because I want to play some of these awesome horror games that was in there, man. But uh, yeah, I'm taking this for me. So see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.